Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings from Gunnuts Media, and today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, the Beretta 92 series pistol. Specifically, what we're going to be talking about today with the venerable, wonderful Beretta 92 is what upgrades I recommend and perform to all of my Berettas out of the box. first upgrade that we're going to talk about are the grips. Now, the factory Beretta grips, shown here, are fine. They're reasonably grippy, but if you want to get extra traction on your gun, if you want to get really good contact, especially up here high on the gun where it's important for recoil control, I recommend changing the grips out just a little bit. Now what I've got on here are VZ grips and they are super grippy and you can get them in fun colors like the blue grip we have here. The next change that I make on my Berettas is the magazine catch. Now it's very easy to make this change. This catch you can just pop it right out with a finger and then you can pop in the large catch that I have here. I much prefer the enlarged magazine release to the factory mag release, especially for competition shooting as getting that mag out of the gun is very important if you're trying to do a quick reload. Also, most factory production guns, the 92s and the M9s especially, come with a plastic guide rod. We ditch that plastic guide rod and change it out for this steel guide rod that's pictured here. I'll also dump the 13 pound factory recoil spring in favor of a 12 and a half pound Wilson combat spring. Speaking of springs, the most important part to change if you want to get a good quality trigger pull is going to be this. This is the mainspring. Normally the mainspring in the Beretta is what causes that heavy DA trigger pull that so many shooters complain about. This one is the spring from a D series pistol, which is about 16 pounds. It's much lighter. In this M9 that I have here, I've driven out this pump, this pin and replaced the main spring in this gun with a 14 pound spring. In my competition gun, the spring is 12 pounds. This is the factory D spring. Now, the 12 pound recoil spring in my competition gun gives me a trigger pull of about eight pounds in double action and three and a half pounds in single action and has been 100% reliable igniting primers. I will swap out the plastic factory Beretta trigger for one of these steel triggers in 100% of my guns. I feel like the steel trigger gives me a better, more consistent trigger pull and more consistent engagement on the trigger surfaces. A couple of other minor things that I don't really do. I don't do a G conversion on these guns. It's something I like. Given my druthers, I would prefer a G or decock only model. However, for the purposes of competition shooting, it doesn't really matter to me if the gun is an FS model or a G model. This is an FS model because that's the configuration I bought it in. Now, one thing I will do to 100% of these guns is black out the rear sights. You notice that the rear sight dots are blacked out. That's so I can actually get some contrast between the rear sight dots and the front sight. I'll leave the front sight white, black out those rear sight dots, that way I can actually see the front sight in contrast to the blacked out rear sights. I haven't had any issues running this in competition. This was the pistol I used to win my fast coin, so obviously I can shoot the gun pretty quickly with this sighting system. That's it for Beretta 92 90 series upgrades. I'm sure that there's something I missed in this video. If you'd like to know more, please leave me a comment down below and I'll be able to answer your questions hopefully. I will say this, the best thing you can do for a Beretta to make it more shootable, practice. I'm Caleb Giddings. Until next time, remember, run your gun, not your mouth.